so definitely it's been nerve-wracking because I feel like my plans kind of got Ari and like now it's all all over the place so yeah it's kind of up in the air um, I'm just kind of taking it day by day for now the scariest part was just the uncertainty of you don't know where your paycheck's going to come from. You don't know if you're going to have work, especially because you need so much experience to get a good job. And for that all to go out of the door, like it was terrifying. Um, it has been very difficult and um, unsure of the future. So what has changed is that I've been looking at the stock market every day to sort of predict like where the economy is going to go to see if like I can even find a job. It's been really like stressful and also like really affecting me because like getting out there finding a job I've been really like um kind of lazy on that because of everything and it's like I'm graduate and I you know I gotta go out and find stuff so it's been really like uncertain definitely. LinkedIn has been my best friend. Uh, it's I've, I've been applying to like probably over 200 by now, just with the quick apply. I've just been searching for jobs, applying, constantly applying to jobs uh, and not hearing back. Um, I would say overall, I have a good LinkedIn and Handshake profile. Um, but it's just the fact that nobody is hiring right now. Professors have definitely helped, like, for example, Professor Miriam Smith. I've, like, talked to her over Zoom, like, last week, and she was looking over my resume, and, like, as well as she, not just for me, but she'll send, like, to our whole class that we, I had with her, she'll send, like, opportunities, like, this place is hiring, there's this internship, there's this opportunity in LA, sign up, you get free housing and stuff, so it's been really helpful, definitely, shout out to Miriam Smith, but as well as other professors, I've hit up some just sharing like what's going on and they've all been really helpful. A couple of professors were pretty helpful um, since I took a summer class, um, I mean two summer classes to finish out my degree um, just this past couple of weeks. Um, and they were pretty helpful in terms of, you know, giving us tips and tricks of like how to start applying and, you know, how to get your foot in the door and to like talk to recruiters personally and how to email them, cold call them and all the, these things. So I was able to move home right as, you know, the quarantine took place. Um, and I've just been here ever since. So I guess I'll just be based here until my next step in my career. I moved back home and I'm on unemployment right now. Now I'm, yeah, I'm in the East Bay with my parents, you know, <laughs> hope to get back out someday. But for now, you know, just kind of living off what I had already. I moved back home, um, back with my parents. So it's definitely been um, a hard transition because I was so used to living by myself with my roommates. Anticlimactic. Um, I... Like, I've literally been thinking about this. This is, like, what I've been working to my whole life. I spent, like, five years in school. I even went and studied, like, in Spain. So it was all this stuff, like, all this stress and hard work just to watch it on screen and, like, do nothing. I didn't have my cap and gown or anything until, like, a month later, which sucks. <laughs> I sort of feel like I didn't graduate. Uh, I'm still waiting for my diploma in the mail as well. Very, I'm hoping that we're able to have proper ceremonies, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it kind, of, it kind of sucked that we weren't able to celebrate properly, but also I totally understand and like nothing I can do about it. I don't know, it makes me stronger, like knowing that we're graduating in the middle of a pandemic and we're still trying and we're still pushing, like it shows a lot of resiliency, I think. So that's like a really good trait that's like transferable to like the next job I pursue, so. Yeah.